Hi, it's Dave from Weston Company, and I'm back to talk to you a little bit about the Four C's of Diamonds. They are the cut, the color, the clarity, and the carat weight, and you've probably heard of them. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview about them, how they came about, and I'll talk about each individual category in later videos because there's quite a bit to each one. So anyway, as early back as the 1500s, we have descriptions of cutters and dealers and merchants talking to each other about diamonds, and they're using lots of descriptive terms that don't really mean much unless you really kind of know that person. You know, things like tint and tincture, and it's clean, or it's flawless, or it's a lot of things. But because they weren't anchored to any standard, you know, you didn't really know what anybody was talking about. And, you know, I've often felt that as long as the industry was very tiny, and the only people that could afford to buy a diamond were the super wealthy, it really wasn't probably much of an issue. Uh, things got worked out just fine. But a lot of that began to change mid-century, uh, especially after World War II, as the market really started to grow. And a gentleman, a retailer by the name of Robert Shipley, uh, decided that there really needed to be some kind of a standard that everybody understood. So he developed what he called the four C's. And we're looking at the four different characteristics of a diamond that best determine its overall value. And as I said earlier, they're the cut, the color, the clarity, and the carat weight. Now, we're not exactly sure when the system was developed. Uh, there's some missing notes and whatnot, but it was definitely starting to be used by the early 50s, as much we know. And today, it is absolutely, without any question, the worldwide standard. Now, Robert Shipley was a really interesting guy because he not only developed the system, which has turned out to be the best, uh, absolutely a very fine system, but he also founded the Gemological Institute of America, which is the uh, educational and research arm for the jewelry industry as a whole. My degree as a gemologist comes from the Gemological Institute of America. And if that wasn't enough, he also founded the American Gem Society, which is a professional guild, which I'm also a member, and you have to have graduated from GIA to even be considered to belong to this group. So it really is, uh, he's really changed the industry for the better. Now, anyway, back to the four C's. Uh, the few things to remember about them is combined, that's what we use, a gemologist or a cutter or anybody uses to determine the overall quality and hence the value of a diamond. The things that you got to remember a little bit about the system is it is a little bit subjective at times because no two diamonds are alike. And because of that, nature does some stuff sometimes that just doesn't fit neatly into any one box. So because of that, there is a tiny bit of subjectivity into it. Although, even though I may argue with another gemologist over the color or the clarity of a specific diamond, uh, we're still within a certain guidelines that we have to adhere to so that we're all pretty much still on the same page and differences are generally fairly slight. The other thing to remember about the system is a lot of times it is misunderstood as a quality overall statement, meaning the better the diamond is on the grading scales, the uh, finer it is, the prettier it is. And that is just not necessarily the case because again, nature does a lot of strange things. So it is, however, a perfect example of a diamond's rarity. As you go up the scale and you get rarer and rarer and rarer as it goes higher up. And again, I'll talk about each component and maybe flesh that out for you a little bit in uh, future videos. So that's a little bit about the four C's. Um, the next one I'm going to start talking about is cut uh, because we always describe the four C's in order of importance to the overall beauty of the diamond. So we start with cut 
and then we move on to color, then we will move on to clarity, and then finally carat weight. And until next time, if you have any questions, please go to our website, www.westandcompany.com. Spell it all out. Go to the contact page. Type in any question you want. I'm more than happy to answer them. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.